Good evening. Welcome to another edition of the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show. My name is Leon Jones. Tonight, I want to feature a video where a brother was on a panel crying. And as a man living here in the 21st century, I see a different kind of man than what I have grown up with. Now, this man, I don't know how old he is. He may be in his 40s or in his 50s. But what I don't get is, why is he crying? So, I'm going to title this video, Why is this brother crying? Why is this brother crying? Now, the small part of this video that I'm going to show you is from Brother SKC. Don't flag me, brother. Don't flag me. Shout out to you. Shout out to Free Zone Lou as well. He also did part of this video. Now, again, SKC, he actually handled his brother with a little bit more class than how I would have handled it. But before we go on, I have to air this out, and I'm going to talk about fair use. That's right. Let me move up. All right, 17 USC 107, Section 107, Limitations on Exclusive Rights Known as Fair Use. Warning, federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyright motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and it is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 USC 107. Of course, the USC is United States Code. Now, Without further ado, let's get to the video. All right, again, this was a stream done last night by Brother SKC. Now, the brother I'm going to talk about He's on the top right. It's his brother. His name is Ricky Williams. So the question is, why is this brother crying? Well, let's get an answer for you. And then I'm going to give you my commentary. Fair use. Let's go. You see, the brother's already grabbing his throat, getting choked up. He's trying to find out what to say. It's like he's standing on a mountaintop, preaching to the black community. But is anyone really hearing him? Let's find out. Fair use. I mean, that's good. He's been with his wife 25 years. You don't find that in today's culture. So I'll give him that. However, how is that going to be the solution 
to what's going on in the black community. Fair use, let's keep going. So he's raised his children and other people's kids. Now, because I don't have all of the information, and I'm going to speculate, he may have been a stepdaddy. But remember, when you raise your children, that is your job. You're responsible for them. That's why you became a parent, even if you didn't want to become a parent. You had children, and you have to raise them. Let me back up on something. You're responsible for your children, even if you don't or you didn't want to become a parent. But the question is, why is this brother crying? Let's continue. He's talking about sacrificing. Okay. As a parent, you're supposed to make sacrifices. You're supposed to give your children the tools so they would make it in the real world. But because you make sacrifices, does that mean I'm going to give you a standing ovation? See, this brother sounds like a number of these women who come up there and state, oh, I took care of children all by myself. They act like they're the only ones who have done it. When in essence, they aren't the only ones who have done it. So what they're looking for is some sympathy. Well, you made your children. You made your bed. You got to sleep in it. Let's continue fair use. All right, you see this woman, B. Taylor, shaking her head. Now he states that he didn't have a dad. Okay, there are a lot of men who didn't have a dad. Now, the question is, what happened? Now, in the black community, the million-dollar answer is always going to be that the dad ran away or he's in jail. Well, got to understand, the, the question is, who picked these men? Why did the women pick these men? Now, there are some unforeseen circumstances where the dad was murdered. Because, you know, when you live in a hood, shoot him up, bang, bang goes on all of the time. Father could have perished in an automobile accident at work, military. Most individuals, particularly black men, though, they end up in jail or dead. That's a fact. But this brother, he's looking for accolades because he had no dad. Is he Superman? No, he isn't. But let's find out why he's getting choked up on a panel. Fair use. Let's go. He's got the stare. He's looking down. You had to figure what out? We all have to figure something out. you want me to give you a trophy? You're doing your job. If I was evaluating you, you would get a meet expectations. That is fair. You're doing your job. You're not doing anything that no one else did. The only thing that's different from you and somebody like myself is you didn't have to pay child support. Now, you may have taken in someone else's kids as a stepdaddy. That's not a plus. That's something you decided to do. I wouldn't do it. 
But if that's what was on your plate at that time and you took it in, God bless you. Let's continue. Fair use. He said, his brother's starting to cry. Why is he starting to cry? What happened? He didn't fall into a million dollars. He's crying on a panel. On a panel with people he doesn't know. And these other brothers are up there. Take your time. Take your time. Now, if this man is married, his wife should be there consulting him when he's off the panel. Let's see more why he's crying. Fair use. Let's go. You sound like a great father. You're doing what you're supposed to do. You hear the woman below named Sarah Gyron? He's doing what he's supposed to do. And you're not even going to have respect for this man. You're saying that now, but you're watching him cry. And the women on the panel, they may seem to get impassioned with what he's saying to make them feel good. But underneath how they're feeling, they're probably looking at him as a self. Let's continue. Fair use. He's re real solemn right now. I'm trying to think of what he's going to say. Look at him. He's sniffing. Oh, now he's crying. Who doesn't love each other? Say y'all don't love each other. Black people really have never loved each other, if that's who he's talking about. Black people have been there and they've been divided for a long time, most of them. You're not going to fix what's happened over the past 100, 200, 300 years between black people. It's not going to happen, Captain. But if you can find a decent sister, who hasn't been indoctrinated by feminism, by liberalism, by education, the media, religion, government, and jobs, you'll be lucky. But you're not going to turn back 50, 60, 70 years of what's happened in the community, especially with a number of sisters, who have basically put down the brothers, but they've uplifted the Caucasian man until they change for him too. And then once they find out, the Caucasian man probably send them back after we've already used them. But fair use, why is he crying? Men shouldn't be crying on a panel. But he is. Fair use. Man, this is funny. I mean, I, I see the theatrics here. But that's the choice they made. That's not for you. to even talk about. You're not going to change what the ABW has done. Talk about taking the last name. No. She decided she wanted to go to Long Dick Willie. Long Dick Willie used her as an HT human toilet. Knocked up. Probably ended up in jail. Happens all the time. 
particularly the urban area. You did well for yourself, but you're up here crying on a panel. That crying makes you look very feminine. Certainly men have feelings, but you're never going to catch me crying on a panel. But look at you, brother, thinking that you are a knight in shiny armor. When in essence, people are probably laughing at you. Shout out to Free Zone Lou. He also did an excerpt on this. His name is Ricky Williams. Shout out to SKC. He did a wonderful interview with Ricky Williams. And SKC said, this man had some simpism, a lot of simpism. I'm only paraphrasing. Fair use. Let's go. So you raised other people's kids. Some of them great, some of them not. Well, Whose choice was that? That was your choice. Guess you live by the sword, you die by the sword. But I wouldn't have done what you have done. And I certainly would not be on a panel right now exposing myself. Because in the long run, you've been emasculated. Fair use. Fair use. But you chose to be a stepdaddy and raise somebody else's kids. And you were there. You were supposed to be there. Now, did you have to be there for somebody else's kids? No. That's the decision you made. That's not my fault. This is why I tell you guys, and I know you guys out there are going to do it, but if you're going to screw single mothers, Make sure you put something, even if you got to put two on, do that, or don't do it at all. Better yet, don't do it at all. Then you won't end up like this man on the panel who's crying. This is funny. Fair use. I I've never seen this before. And this is what makes black men look worse and worse and worse here in 2022, and we are about three and a half months away from 2023, and I see the black man going further and further down the hole of emasculation. And this is what this guy is doing. And he exhibited that behavior. Now, could he have post-traumatic stress disorder? I do a lot of psychological videos. He may have. However, he is telling us what he did, but he should be doing what he's telling us what he did. I'm talking about raising kids. Now, he didn't have to be a stepdaddy. Okay, he had his own kids. He's been married 25 years. Great. You have to take care of what you made. Now, if you didn't make something, that's not your job. But if you decide to take it on, you just added more responsibility, and you let the other guy off the hook. Now you're on the panel crying about it, and you want us to sympathize for you? Not me. Fair use. Let's continue. You are a simp and a sucker. You are. You have just exposed yourself with your emotional behavior. You could, you could be bipolar. You could be delusional. But I can see right now you need help. Trying to preach to a community 
that's not hearing you is a waste of time. This is why I say, brothers, number one, when you get on the panel, make sure you are on your best behavior. Don't do anything that will expose you. This brother has exposed himself. Now, let's hear more of what he has to say. Fair use. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this guy named Beatbox Ronan, let me go back. He looks like he's got his head bowed down like he was going to cry. Let's go. Look at Beatbox Ronan at the bottom. Did you catch this? Let's go. Look at, look at him right here, Beatbox. He, he looks like he's about to cry right here. Beatbox Ronan, this gentleman right here. Did this man preach like a preacher? Well, it's never going to be appreciated. Because, first of all, a number of individuals are selfish. A community, there is no community. It's nothing but a bunch of welfare, crime, dysfunction. And this dude is crying. And you got four, you got four women on the panel. Now, are these women going to respect you? No. Because once they get off the panel, they're probably going to go on another panel and tell the host and their other panel of felines. Man, this brother was crying. And it was funny. Because you know, a number of the modern women are like chameleons. They may act a certain way on the outside. They change colors in a heartbeat. This is why they're no friend of ours. Fair use. Let's continue. What are we spitting on? But that crying is trivial right now. But do they love you back, brother? You're doing all like crying. And I'm exposing you right now. This is the brother you don't want to act like. Yo, brothers, don't be eunuchs. Pick up your balls and be a man. Men have always made sacrifices. Men have died so a number of us can be free. And if you don't believe me, you go to the tomb of the unknown soldier. You go to the, I live here in Indiana, the Indiana Veterans Cemetery. You go to the Arlington National Cemetery. You go over to France where they had Blitzkrieg you'll find a number of men that we celebrate on Memorial Day who died to keep us free. And what have we done? We've screwed it all up by listening to guys like Brother Ricky Williams cry about a solution that he really doesn't have because the black community is dead. Fair use. Let's continue.
you keep getting the stuff that you're getting into because you keep going back into it. That's why. Haven't you learned that if you step in the hole or let me make, give you a better example. Haven't you learned that when you put your foot in hot water, you get burned? And if you do it once too often, you're going to have a first degree burn. You're going to lose some skin. You're going to get scalded. You haven't learned, but you went to the well once too often trying to fight for people that you say you love, but they don't love themselves, brother. They don't feel good about themselves. A number of black people have self-esteem issues, and they will use anything to make themselves feel good, like cultural appropriation. They will use anything like feminism or that somebody else gives them like artificial power to make them feel like they have power when they really don't. But people like Rick, Ricky Williams, this brother who's crying, he's a reason why you don't become a simp. And you, heck, if you're going to cry, don't cam up. Put on an avatar. Now we see who you look like. We see who you are, rather. We see what you look like. Now, you may be lucky in a video like this goes viral, but you haven't done anything for the black man except make him look like another feminine man especially in front of these women who on a panel cultural appropriation they're not happy with who they are that's why they're listening to what you're saying but in the end they're going to be comfortable with who they are although they're not happy with who they are and look at brother beatbox Rome. look at him he looks like he's going to cry look at it you catch that? Fair use. Let's continue. Look at everybody getting choked up on this panel. That's because probably told them what they wanted to hear. They used you. Then they abused you. And they went for the other guy. The other guy that's going to beat them. That's going to go to jail. That's going to be more thrilling. That's not going to be nice. You have to understand. A number of these modern women don't want guys who are nice. And you're up here crying in front of them. But as a man, you're weak, brother. You're weak. Fair use. Let's continue. Mm-hmm. Look at, look at, look, look at this guy right here. Beep. Beatbox Ronan, he looks like he's about to sob. He's choking up a little bit. He, mm -hmm. Beatbox, brother Ricky's got you shaking, doesn't he? Fair use. Watch his brother, Beatbox. But watch the women. They act like they care. Look at Lucky Marie. Look at uh, look at Syara Gearin and Kayla.com. They're just sitting back there watching it. Now, BTV is acting like she cares, but does she really care? No. Fair use. brother up there has a lot of emotional rants. 
He got himself in something that he should not have done. Stepdaddy for number one. Number two, preaching to a whole bunch of people who are dysfunctional. And when you hang out with dysfunctional people, you become dysfunctional yourself. Fair use. Let's keep it going. I said that was powerful. That wasn't powerful. That was weak. And this is what happens as a black man. But again, when you are trying to do for people who really don't love you, but you say you love them, you're wasting your time. And see, one thing I can always say about black men, they've always been good orators. I mean, when you go to a church, the pastor, he speaks, he can raise his voice, he can change his pitch, he can change his tone. What he's doing is inciting the emotions of his congregation while preaching bullshit at the same time. That's what you get from a preacher. Preacher's a good con man. Now, brothers, when you go on a panel, and I've been on my fair share of panels, do not get emotional. If you can't have a rational conversation, communication is not your best sport here. Don't cam up either if you're going to cry. Because what has happened is this man has exposed himself. He went on his panel, cried. What he called himself doing was preaching to a community that is nothing but impoverished, crime-ridden, no economics there. No fathers. The education system is poor. And of course, it's run by Democrats who look just like you. But a number of you vote for those people. And those people don't care about you. And the reason why your area looks atrocious is you don't create enough tax base or good infrastructure to come into your city or your part of the city. And if it did, give it about a year and it'll still look like what your neighborhood looks currently because you don't know how to keep anything. You see, you cannot have community without Strong leadership, male leadership. You cannot have community without some type of manufacturing, engineering, doctors. You need all sorts of fields to build a community. But most of all, you just can't sell your community to people who look like you. You must invite people who aren't in your community to buy from you. Heck, you have people who don't look like you who come into your community and they sell to you while they take their money from you to their own communities. So what happens? The money, and yes, people that look like me have a lot of money, but we don't know how to invest it, or we know how to spend it on frivolous garbage. Many of us don't understand economics. But we sure like to preach religion, glitz and glamour and magic, something to make us feel good. We love to have speeches. We shall overcome. That stuff hasn't worked. We're still in the same place today as we were 50 years ago. The only difference is some of us have gotten a little bit more money in education, but most of us, 
we're still preaching the same nonsense, especially the older some individuals who look like me are because they don't know how to pass down the wisdom because they were comfortable getting a job and retiring. That's all they cared about, or getting an education. But in the long run, you can take a horse to the well, but you can't make him drink. And at the end of the day, you saw this brother preaching to a dead horse. That's why that horse can't eat. He was trying to be a savior, but he can't save himself. He got very emotional. He didn't have a solution. He's been talking the same points that we've heard 10, 20, 30 years. Heck, we want to go back and hear what he said about what's not going on. We had enough talk shows on in the 90s. Heck, when I came on YouTube, we were utilizing the same scripts. When people like Tommy Sotomayor and Brother Ringo and Sergeant Willie Pete and Doug Titian, the same thing was preached there and then as well. So what we're doing, we're just trying to put new tread on an old tire. And in the end, it doesn't work. There is no square one because most of us haven't moved from the emotionalism, the nuts and berries, the magic. And religion is a part of it. Now, I believe in God, but most religion is a con man's game. It's about money. Because in the community, people who look like me, money doesn't turn over. Money leaves. Now, I'm not saying they're not poor people in other races, but I'm not talking about other races. I am specifically talking about us because that's what he was talking about. He had mentioned that he was married. He had children. He took care of other children. He made sacrifices. He said he loves everybody. That's fine. But is he respected? Not when you get on the panel and start crying. You just exposed yourself as a simp, and you may have a mental disorder. The best thing for you, Brother Williams, you need to see a shrink. You may have some degree of PTSD. Something happened. And it happened at a moment's notice for you to snap out with your emotional rant and crying on the panel. So in the end, brothers, I'm going to tell you this one time. When it comes to the ABW, you wish your charm to try to get them to fall in line. They're happy where they are. But you're not happy where you are because you want them to fall in line under your leadership when a number of you don't even know how to be leaders. And even if you wanted to be leaders, they believe they're better than you. Listen, and listen to me clearly. They're not your compliments, they're your competition. So here's what you got to do. Be better at the game than they are. And only if you do that, you can claim victory. Other than that, you're still going to have guys like Mr. Williams simping to the person they call God. And that's my commentary for this edition of the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show. 
right here on YouTube. If you like what I just presented, please comment, share, and subscribe. Now, I have a second channel. It's called the QCIS channel. On that channel, I give you a daily dose of science, technology, engineering, and math. Now, if you cannot find the 401 Talk Zone radio show or the 401 Talk Zone radio show on YouTube, you check me out on Twitter. Now, when it comes to the QCIS channel, I'll take it one step further. Since the QCIS channel is a professional channel, I put that channel on my LinkedIn page. So go check it out there. You'll learn a lot from watching this channel, especially if you are an advocate of STEM. Also, I do live streams every Wednesday. Check out the live stream that I did last night. Started it off with the Napoleon Syndrome. And I went into other mental health issues, borderline personality disorder, had open panel, Stockholm Syndrome, and schizophrenia. And then the child support issue. Do women want to pay child support? Check that video out. I did uh, a few days ago. And what I'm going to start doing or continue to do, I'm going to mix in some pre-recorded videos with some live streams. But in the end, I'm going to leave you with this. Be blessed for what you have. Don't worry about what you don't have. Always know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. For you individuals who were offended by this content and you wanted to watch it, that's up to you. I'm just giving you what I see and I'm exposing different mental disorders out here. But for you individuals that might be a little triggered as well and you don't want to change or you do want to change, that's up to you. This is my saying I have for you. If the shoe fits, wear it. If you don't like the shoe, change it. Let me run that back. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. But if the shoe fits, wear it. If you don't like the shoe, change it. And once again, thank you to Brother Free Zone. Thank you to, thank you to Brother SKC for the content. Yes, I did use your video. I did put fair use in front of it. But again, I'd like to thank you all for viewing this edition of the 411 Talk Zone radio show right here on YouTube. Till next time, my name is Leon Jones. I want you all to have a wonderful and gracious evening. God bless you. I'm out.